A former physician's assistant from Jackman will spend seven years in prison after pleading guilty to sexually assaulting two preteen boys. He was facing a total of 23 counts. The abuse happened decades ago, but as New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty reports, the emotional toll on the victims is still incredibly clear. One of them was in court today, bravely sharing his story. Well, all right. 67 year old Gerald Keenan appears in Somerset Superior Court Thursday, sentenced to seven years behind bars related to sexual contact and abuse of two preteen boys. We know the impact on the kids and the trauma that's going to maybe be generational. There's never enough. But within the legal system and how that works for 20 year old sex crimes, yeah, this is a satisfactory outcome. The former physician assistant in Jackman pleaded guilty in July to counts of unlawful sexual contact and sexual abuse of a minor. As part of a plea agreement, the state dismissed the remaining counts. According to court documents, in 2018, a victim reported he was sexually assaulted by Keenan when he was 10 years old until 13 years old in Jackman. In 2019, another victim reported that Keenan sexually assaulted him when he was younger in Jackman. Um, with regard to the sort of qualifications, Your Honor. Assistant District Attorney Paul Cavanaugh says one of the victims has autism. Our commitment to trying to protect victims and to, to serve justice for those um, led, led this through, you know, a pandemic to, to get the conviction. One of the victims spoke in court saying he grew up with shame but has become a better person through the damage. Cavanaugh became emotional when talking about the victim's statement. It's a challenge. I mean, the, the, the first plea involves conduct in 2003, almost 20 years ago. Keenan's attorney says he has no prior criminal record. Mr. Keenan has been a model citizen on bail. Uh, Mr. Keenan has had an illustrious career um, as a PA. Court documents also say Keenan was a former Boy Scouts of America scout leader. The organization says a file regarding him revealed potentially inappropriate sexual activity in August of 1983. The organization told New Center Maine his registration was revoked and he has been ineligible since the 1980s. And no other jurisdiction that we're aware of has brought charges or, or followed through. According to the Board of Licensure and Medicine, Keenan was first licensed in Maine in 1997. His license expired in 2016 when he failed to renew it. Because he needs to be removed from the public. In Skowhegan, Roslyn Flaherty, New Center, Maine. The judge says once Keenan is released, he will be on probation for 12 years. He was in the lobby of the courthouse when we got there. He declined to comment on the case. If you or somebody you know is a survivor of sexual violence, you are not alone. You can call the main crisis hotline at 1-888-568-1112 for a number of resources.